So then we sit down in the emergency room mm-hmm. and <laughs> I pick a seat next to a, a, wo- <laughs> a woman who I actually don't know if you noticed this, but she kept trying to hit on you. So mm-hmm. me, I sit on the farthest, and like this whole day is a trip. <laughs> like as I continue to tell the stories from this day, I'm like, I cannot believe this all happened in 24 hours. So we sit down, I'm here, Broden's in the middle, and then there's this woman who's on the right side of us. And I'm not paying attention to anything, I'm just like trying to find a seat. She's leaning over at Broden, who's leaning at me, trying to get like my medical information, but I'm like focused on this woman who's like leaning at Broden like this. And she's like, "Um, hey, like very clearly on something and like, was not in a hundred percent of her right mind and she's like chatting with uh, just everyone in in the emergency room at this point but anyway she keeps trying to get broden's attention <laughs> and broden is i thought you were purposefully ignoring her no the only the only interaction <laughs> i had with her was she asked me like hey do you like ralph's <laughs> i and remember that and i was like uh yeah ralph's is cool <laughs> <laughs> the grocery store yeah. she's like yeah i shop there sometimes <laughs> But before that, she was trying to get your attention. She oh, was like no. sitting there, like, <laughs> um, hi, c- excuse me, um, hi. <laughs> like, over I, and over I could again. tell she was on something, so I was yeah. just, I thought she was just. No, you know. she was completely <laughs> leaned in trying to riz you up. It was crazy. <laughs> so then Broden leaves to go, like, give the front desk my information and everything like that. And I'm sitting there, I pull out my phone. It's like the first time I've taken out my phone since I sit down. And she leans over to me and she's like, hello, Miss Beautiful. Um, is there any way that I could use your phone? And I'm like thinking she's going to be like, I need to call my mom or I need to call someone or whatever. She was like, I want to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no way this lady just asked me to like, what are you, an iPad kid? Like, are you kidding me? So I don't know how I managed to muster up the perfect response, but I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like telling my parents about my injury, which I'm like, go Sydney. Damn. Like, I can't believe you did this. Yeah, so she asked me to use my phone, and I'm like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm texting my parents about my accident. And she's like, that's okay, beautiful, sexy mama, Sita, baby girl, sweetie pot, like, would not stop with the pet names. And so I just lean as far away as I can. And when I finally got a, got the chance to, like, take a look at her, she had thick, like, super thick black cat eye on one eye, no makeup on the other, and then hot pink lipstick all over her face yeah so then when broden and jody switched places because broden went out to wait outside and jody came in i got up and i crutched over to jody (laughs) with my broken ankle and i was like hey can we find new seats please (laughs) so then yeah we uh we found some new seats and then i went and i saw a, a doctor and then that doctor was like hey your ankle's broken i'm gonna send you to another doctor so then I went and I saw another doctor and then they splinted me, which was also a really interesting experience because the dude who splinted me brought his like girlfriend in to help, who I think also must have worked at the hospital, but she wasn't a nurse or anything like that. Like she worked there, but was not part of medical staff. So it was really strange. He And I didn't know that that was his girlfriend until the end. This dude splinting my ankle, it's like the most pain that I'd been in since I fractured it because my ankle is hanging like this. So he has to readjust it into place and then put it in a fiberglass cast, which was really uncomfortable. And then him and this girl are just flirting over my ankle. Like they're just <laughs> flirting the whole time. And like he's cracking jokes and she's like saying like silly things and he's like oh my god you're so funny and me and Jody are just like what the hell man so they're like cracking jokes over my ankle and then eventually he's like thanks sweetie for the help and she leaves and I thought that was kind of like you know hospital like flirting or whatever which is weird but then after she leaves he's like yeah that's my boo thing. for the last 10 hours of my life it has been such a shit show like i don't think the reality of me breaking my ankle set in until yesterday Mm. because everything was just a fucking fever dream (laughs) like it was so wild